Examination for the Certificate of Competency in English. Sample Test. Form C. Listening Test, Part 1. This is a test of your ability to understand spoken English. You will hear short conversations. After you hear each conversation, you will be asked a question about what you heard. The answer choices in your test booklet are shown as pictures. Mark your answers on the separate answer sheet, not in the test booklet. Here is an example. Example. I want to learn to play a musical instrument, but I can't decide if I want to play the piano or something smaller that I can carry places, like the trumpet. Oh, I think you should play the trumpet. I heard it's easier to learn. But I really enjoy the music a piano makes, so I think I'll do that. Or you could try to learn both if you have time. Which instrument does she want to play? The correct answer is A. You will hear each conversation only once. The conversations will not be repeated. Please be very quiet and listen carefully. Remember to mark all your answers on the separate answer sheet. You should mark A, B, or C. There are 30 questions in Part 1. Do you have any questions before you begin? Number 1. Hi, Jack. Are you collecting orders for office supplies? Yep. What's on your list? Actually, I have a few orders. For me, new binders, a marker, and some paper. Elaine said she needs some pencils and a ruler. Also, Henry needs folders, probably about 20 of them. Okay, I'm afraid we won't have folders until next month. We'll have to let Henry know. What does Elaine need? Number two. Hey. Want to grab a bite to eat? Sure. I've been wanting to try that new Mexican place at the mall. Hmm. I don't feel much like Mexican. Maybe Chinese? Nah. How about we just stay in and order pizza? Um, okay. That sounds good. Where will they eat? Number three. Oh, no. I forgot to write down the homework assignment. Was it page 72? No, that was the page we read in class. Let me find my notes, and I'll tell you what it is. Hmm. Maybe it was after that? Page 73 or something? No, it was from earlier on in the book, some page in the 60s. On which page is the homework assignment? Number four. I've been thinking about your suggestion about where to hang the painting. So did you hang it over the desk or the television? Neither. It's perfect in the living room. Where did she hang the painting? Number five. John, did you know that our wooden garden chairs are almost sold out? Then we'd better order some more. They're the most popular item in our store. The problem is that the factory has stopped making them for the time being. Uh-oh. Do you know if the warehouse has any in stock? I'll give them a call right now and check. Where will she call? Number six. Look what I found out in the garden. Oh, no. Those were my favorite shoes. They were so comfortable. Well, apparently your new puppy thought they tasted good, too. What happened to the shoes? Number seven. 
Hey, have you ever been to the study group for this class? I'm not really a study group kind of person. I've always done just fine on my own. Well, I was thinking about going and thought you might want to come with me. I'll pass. Thanks. What will he do? Number 8. Good morning, Mr. Owens. What brings you in today? I haven't been feeling well lately. Every time I eat, my stomach bothers me. Okay. Well, let's take a look at you. I hope you can find out what the problem is. How does he feel? Number 9. We need a way to get more people to attend club meetings. Maybe meeting at a coffee house and treating everyone? Or how about a pizza place? That might work, but pizza is kind of expensive. Hmm. Another idea is the ice cream shop. Oh, actually, probably coffee is better. Yeah, it'll possibly make people talk more, and most people like it. What will they probably offer people at the next meeting? Number 10. I would like to get a plant for the office, but I'm not sure what kind to get. I can help you with that. Do you want a plant that flowers? No, I'm allergic to some of them. Do you want something you have to water frequently? No, I'm really busy. I'll probably forget. Then how about a cactus? What kind of plant will he probably buy? Number 11. Can you believe how much homework is due this week? An essay and a poster presentation. No, the essay is due next week. We're supposed to finish reading the book this week. Oh, I already did that for last week. Nice. Now you have less to do and more time to work on that presentation. What is due this week? Number 12. Is this where I buy a three-day subway pass? Three-day passes are actually sold at the newsstand across the street. If you want tickets for single trips, you can get them at the machine right there. Oh, I see. It said online I could buy them here at the station. Nope, sorry. Where does she have to go? Number 13. My cell phone doesn't seem to be working here in the conference room. Try going out to the lobby. Or the stairwell has a lot of windows. You might get better reception there. The stairwell echoes so much, but the lobby's good. Or think I should just go outside? You could do that, except it's raining pretty hard right now. Oh, okay then. I'll be right back. Where will she go to use her phone? Number 14. Susan, what are you doing here? I thought you were going to play tennis today. I just wasn't feeling up to it. I decided to just take it easy instead. Well, I'm going to swim some laps. Enjoy your book. I will. Thanks. What is the woman doing? Number 15. Ma'am, would you or your husband like some soup or salad before your dinner? I'll take a salad, and my husband probably will too, but I'm not sure. He just left to make a phone call. Okay, here's your bread, and I'll be back in a moment with your salad, and I'll ask him what he wants then. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. What is her husband doing?
Number 16. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm looking for one of those daily planners for keeping track of classes, work, and appointments. We have several different styles. Are you looking for anything in particular? Last year I used a really big one with an entire week on each page, and it worked pretty well. Well, we only have small planners with a week on a page, but we have larger ones with three days per page. How about that? Sure, I'll try that this year. What type of planner will she buy? Number 17. I couldn't get my office mailbox to open yesterday. Did you use the right key? I've accidentally tried to use the bigger mailroom door key before. Yeah, I used a small one, and it's always worked. Hmm. I guess that's not the issue then. Call Paul at the front desk to see if he can get the lock fixed. What is causing the problem? Number 18. I don't know what to get my cousin for her birthday. Is she a music person? CDs, maybe?、Uh, that's what I got her last year. Well, what are her interests? She likes photography and reading. How about a digital camera or a subscription to a photography magazine? A camera's awfully expensive, but I really like your other idea. What will she get for her cousin? Number 19. That storm last week was unbelievable. Did you get to work? I did eventually. I tried the bus, but that never came. Then I thought about driving, but the roads were terrible. In the end, I just walked in. Me too. It was really pretty, actually. How did they get to work last week? Number 20. Hey, Kevin, where are you going? I'm heading over to the gym. I've been studying all day at the library, and I feel like an hour of exercise would do me good. Why don't you come with me instead? I'm going to go for a run in Smith Park. Sounds good, but it's a bit too cold for me today. Where will the man go? Number 21. What type of place are you looking to rent? Something small. It's just me, so I don't want too much to take care of. Plus, I don't have a car, so I don't need a garage. So, an apartment? Well, that's the problem. I want something small, but I don't want to share walls with others. I really like peace and quiet. I think I know just the place. Which home would probably interest her? Number 22. When are you going to go to the science lab? Our projects are due in a week. Well, I really need to do some reading before I can use the lab, but the library's closed until Monday. You can use my computer if you want. Thanks, but I can't find what I need online. What does she need to use first? Number 23. Do you hear something beeping? Yeah, but I can't tell if it's coming from inside or outside. Maybe it's the microwave? Yeah, it really does sound like the microwave, but I'm not cooking anything. And I already checked our car alarm. Then it's got to be your clock. I'll go check it for you. Thanks. What did they probably hear?
Number 24. Lisa, can I borrow some pens? Sure. There are some on my desk. My students are so forgetful. There are always some without paper or something to write with, and I've loaned all my pens out. Why don't you just have your students do their work in the computer lab instead? That's a great idea. What does the woman suggest? Number 25. Hello. I'd like to reserve a family camping site for the week of August 14th. Would you like a site equipped for a camper? That won't be necessary. We'll be using tents. Okay. We also have sites with small cabins. That's good to know for the future, but this year we'll be okay with what we have. Where will the family be sleeping? Number 26. The color printer still isn't working. Do you know where I can get my report printed before the staff meeting? Well, yesterday Joe had something printed next door at the office supply store. Do you know the name? I'd like to call over there first. Sorry, maybe you can ask Joe, or just look in the phone book. Oh, never mind. I think I'll just rush over there now. Hope I'm not late for the meeting. What will he do next? Number 27. Hi. Don't I know you from Northside University? How have you been? Good memory. I graduated a few years ago, and I'm a doctor now. And yourself? I'm still in school. I started out as a music major, but then I switched to education. So how do you like teaching? Uh, all I can say is that switching majors was a mistake. What would he prefer to study? Number 28. I hear you're studying in Japan this summer. Make sure to keep in touch. Definitely. I'm planning to get a cell phone there. Isn't that expensive? It is. But I was also thinking about just writing letters. That's fun, but slow, especially from Japan. You should just stick to the Internet. You're probably right. It was a nice thought anyway. How does he think she should communicate with her friends? Number 29. Which of the applicants do you think will be best for the job? I really like the first woman, the one with the long hair, but I don't think she has enough experience, so I think the second one is probably the most suitable. The man? No, I mean the second woman, the one with glasses. Who does he prefer? Number 30. Are you planning any special trips this winter? Well, we usually go skiing or sometimes to New York City to visit my parents. Ooh, sounds fun. Yeah, it always is, but we decided we want a change of pace this year. You know, a chance to just relax and take it easy. Where will she go on a trip? End of part one.